Hey guys, it's the Michigan Trappers. I'm here with Conrad and we're going to show you how to sight in a gun properly. Alright, today what we have here is a chair, a steady table, and my lead sled. And these are the basic things that I like to use uh, to sight in a gun because, first of all, a comfortable seat will give you a better shot. A lead sled will keep your gun steadier than what you would be able to do free handing it, resting it on a tree. And this just gives more support. And way out there is a target that I've set up, and there's three of them. And that's probably about 35 yards. And uh, we have two guns that we're sighting in today. Uh, they're in the car because it's a little misting, but um, there's a shotgun with a slugster barrel on it and that's open sights and a 22 rifle and that has a scope and we're going to show you how to sight in the different kinds. So let's get started. Alright, here's my 22. This is a scoped uh, rifle that I have. Um, now, speaking about the scope, there's two little knobs. They're silver and you can use a screwdriver to crank them any way you want. Um, with this one, the top one, if you crank it to the left, you're going to make the thing go up. If you crank it to the right, you're going to make it go down. Um, with this one, if you crank it to the right, you're going to go left. If you crank it to the left, you're going to go right. So it's opposite. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how it works. So first, make sure safety's on um, your gun and load it. Push safety off. As I look through my scope, I can see that my shot was off to the right. So, load it, put it on safety, look at this, crank it to the left. Sometimes it takes just a couple of shots. That one's a little bit closer. I just need to go a little bit more. And then I'm going to shoot a couple because that one's right on. I'm going to shoot a couple just to show you. Okay, now kind of if you zoom in on the target, show these guys how close I was. Here's the first two shots are to the right, and then the next shots are right in the center, and we can actually show you a not close shot after we pick up the target. All right, this is my 12 gauge. There's my slug barrel. The slug barrel um, is a short one. It's pretty much almost a cutoff. Um, normally they're 28 inches, this one's 20. Um, I'm going to show you how to sight in this. This is a much bigger gun and it's going to kick a lot more. So we'll show you how to work this. Alright, that was the first shot. Now, when sighting in this, there's a little screw right here, and what you do with that screw is you line it up with this. This one doesn't move, so when you line it up with this, you should be okay to, to fire it. It looks like it's pretty much lined it up. I just got this, uh, this barrel last week.
Okay, let's see where that, where it's at first, and then uh, move the lead sled a little bit, and we'll see uh, what I have to do to it. It looks like they were pretty much all all a little bit high, but the target is only at like 35 yards. Since it's high at 35 yards, it should be dead on at around 70 to 80 yards. So I kind of like it being a little bit high. So that gun's pretty much right on. Um, if you really wanted to move it down, you could, but like I said, it's only 35 yards. I could probably shoot close to 100 yards with that slug. And as you can see, it's pretty much right on with that. So, and you can see all my shots were pretty much in the same spot. That was the first tester that I took because I've never used the slugs yet, but um, not not too bad for a shotgun. But, and so this is how you want to sight in a gun properly. By doing the steps, you will uh, improve your aiming and you will make better shots on your animals. And as you can see, just while we're up here, my 22 after I sighted it in started right here, went right here, one, two, three right there within an inch of each other. So that shows you that by doing that, you're gonna make better shots. And that's how to sight in guns.